Hey everyone, this is Mark from WhiteHatDev.com and today's story I'm going to be showing you how to make a timer for the game so when your um, timer runs out it resets the game. Okay, first of all we're going to have to create a new object. So create object. I'm going to name it timer. And I'm going to add a new event. Create. And on the create event I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to call the variable time count. Then I'm going to set it. Now I'm going to set it to like 300 seconds, which is 5 minutes, but I'm going to set it for 10 just to show you it working. I don't want to be waiting for 5 minutes. Okay, okay. Then we're going to go to main 2, add set alarm. After 30, 30 steps is normally a second depending on your room speed, but default is 30. So, okay. Add event, alarm, alarm 0. Then we're going to go to control. Then we're going to test video. So, t time, f time count. So, the f time count is equal to 0. Okay, go we'll add the code block, an else statement, and another code block. Right, so if f is equal to zero, we're going to add message times up. Then we're going to reset the game. Then afterwards, we're going to control, set variable, time count, value is minus 1. Okay? Then afterwards, we're going to set the alarm again. That's one second. So here, after this object is created, it will set the time to 10 seconds. Then it will set alarm to go off in one second. Then every one second it will check if it's hit zero. And if it's hit zero, it will display a message. Reset the game. Or if it hasn't reached zero, it will remove one second from the variable. Then set the alarm to go off again. So okay. Oh, one more thing. We're going to add the draw event in. We're going to control. Draw variable. Time count. X. Y. Okay. So it means it will draw the variable on the screen. Oh now then. Okay, run the game. Obviously, I made a mistake there. That should be time count minus one. Okay, okay, run the game. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. So it means to give it a reset. So I have 10 seconds. I was able to read the time of resets. Time's up and give it reset. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. 
and stay tuned in for the next tutorial, which we'll probably be up tomorrow. And thanks for watching.